Hi everyone and welcome to a snack size guide in Unreal Engine 4. In these tutorials I go through a very quick process uh, of showing you one little thing at a time in Unreal Engine 4 as a quick 101 guide for those who are new to the engine. In this episode I'm going to go through inheritance and how that works and how you set that up in Unreal Engine 4. So inheritance is essentially using parents and children uh, classes to inherit behaviours and actions from other uh, actors. So how do we do this? When we create a new blueprint class, we are actually creating a child, most of the time, a child of a previous class. For example, a pawn is a child of an actor class. So I click on pawn, for example, and open it up. I can click up the top, and you can see parent class, pawn. And I click on that, and it will show me all the code in Visual Studio. Likewise, if I were to go and add new blueprint class and choose character, I click character. You can see a parent class is a character. I can click on there and view it in Visual Studio 2. So what's quite important is in clicking on this, a pawn is a child of an actor class and a character is a child of a pawn class. It inherits all the pawns and, it inher and pawn inherits all the actor uh, components. So a pawn has all the same stuff as an actor and a character has all the same stuff as a pawn and an actor. Okay, So we're going to create our own inheritance. So here I've made an actor, my blueprint. Okay. And here I'm going to uh, show you what it does. It basically makes this box here on the floor move. Yep, yeah, pretty simple. So I'm going to make a child actor which inherits that behavior and will also move without any extra code. So if I go right click and go blueprint class, actually, sorry, right click on my blueprint. And you can see create child blueprint class. Choose that. And we'll go my blueprint underscore child. And I can drag this into the world and click play. And you'll see it moves as well. However, the main difference is is when I open this one up, you'll see it has no code. Pretty nifty. Okay. And I can see here on the top right parent class my blueprint. And I can click on that and it will show me. There, open parent editor, and you can see and edit the parent. Now, what's useful about this, it doesn't just inherit uh, code, but it will also inherit variables. So if I click on variable in my parent one here, and go in here and say, um, uh, let's say, oh, let's go to uh, speed. Okay. And for simplicity's sakes, we're going to make this a vector. Um, and compile it and change it to one there and hook speed into my delta location so my parent will go one in the y direction however if I go back to my child my child without that variable being seen here I can actually access that same variable so if I right click here and go speed I can see get speed and set speed so if I uh, do set speed and plug that into a begin play like so and i can change this one to three for example and uh that'll do click compile and when i now push play you'll see that one goes a bit faster very useful however what this does mean as you can see there the child has inherited the behavior changed its behavior but has not passed it back onto the parent Okay, that's one of the unique things about inheritance, which makes it really powerful and really useful to use. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. If you like these sort of snack size videos, please let us know in the comments below and what you'd like to see next. See you next time. Bye.